It's a miracle. The healing and damaging effects of Solar Guardian. Reduced by 50% into an AoE. Kind of interesting. Urkel waiting for Notice to step up. Does he get close enough to get Meld Strike? Uh, doesn't quite look like it yet. Waiting. Waiting. All right, yeah, he's just going to head out. Play by and win them all. Uh, corrosive DK, as expected. Okay. That's uh, a little bit uh, too popular, it would seem, right now. Makes sense. Should still have a pretty good lane on stage, I would imagine, on that tiny. Against the lane annoying heroes like the DK. And then down bottom here, it's going to be pretty risky business for the Pugna, leaving a key of the lane. Primal can do a lot of work. See the fake comes out. It's just getting calibrated, you know? Oh, yeah. Radiant's turn has been killed. On. Miracle. Going to get hit here. It's another round. Not enough mana for Starbreaker, which means they can't go in for the all in play, but instead, now turning onto a Terra is trying to get the kill. Oh, no. Not going to connect. Oh, Miracle's gaming with the barriers now, though. He's doing what he can, trying to outplay Notice. Notice still in trouble under tower and is going to drop. Miracle, does he die to tower? I think yes, he dead. does. I think that's fine, honestly. Yeah. Uh, and now whenever I'm casting, I have a little bit of panic. Stop when I'm getting picked. Going in. Miracle in some trouble. Spun down. Will it be enough for the full kill? It looks like the answer is yes, but a turnaround. Doesn't quite get level six on the jug, so no chance for an Omni Slash and FNG. Taking a good chunk of damage. Squadix moves in, wants to get a cleanup kill there, and will manage to find it. FBZ goes down. Pearl rooted, chased, punished, and well, no level six for him either. All of these heroes before ultimates come in online getting pretty heavily beat down as Sumail runs in and kills off on Terrace. Now, with more heroes in the area, Squad X decides to turn and kill GA damage. He also falls. It will be enough as they respawn on the TA to finally... Suddenly, they can turn and hit him again. They are not that afraid. If Bedlam already being used GH there for the save, but now the jump in again from Squad X. Feeling like he's invincible, very much not the case. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but for a while they were like setting up around Roche and then didn't take it. It took a while to get there, get through, but they're finally now uh, going to claim it. Yeah, I think they were just laying traps because they were scared. Was, like, this fight shouldn't really go well. Yeah, like... So uh, there's the shard now too, so we have to watch for those dispels. Oh, yeah. Veno. Oh, someone dispels a Gale now. Latent Toxicity is gone there, folks. No longer exists. You no longer have to try and pretend like you know what that spell did. Notice. Mindbreaker doing work. Not Mindbreaker. What was the sound? Oh, just the trap. Doesn't hurt, though. I mean, it does help the hero, for sure. Oh, yeah. On X. And on to FBZ. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Tramp goes in? Oh, what? That's right. That's right. I don't know about this one. Hard to spell is gonna be there. Just one. No way. The stun came out just in time. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. And now linked together, they get pushed apart. Do they have enough to save either of these heroes? EKB is used. What was the stun? Was it the Inkswell? Don't know. I mean, it must have been Inkswell. It, I mean, that's that's insane. Because he he got hard to spell. He, yeah, Not stunned after right. the hard dispel. Now Sumail jumps in, finds the finish onto Willow, and is going to eventually be burned down to death. But, I mean, a huge the silence from GH. Because that, that cannot be dispelled, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, uh, yeah. So the silence, and that gave him enough time to get the, uh, the stun off after the fact. Crazy. Yeah, I didn't even see the, the Phantom fly out. That's a tough one. 
I mean, I, I think that means from Jug's point of view. Dyer's no, that might not. Is that that simple? Attack. I mean, it could be. I don't know. I don't think he was killed though, in that fight. As notice goes down just to Miracle demolishing him. Maybe it is. Sorry, nothing important. Yeah, happened. fine. Oh, yeah, no, you get stunned at the end. Yeah, yeah, okay. there you do. So, cannot spin. Finish you. Is Venno a counter to go? I guess the Pearl has to hit the Gales. Or Dems. Make a difference. Talk to me, what's up? I have, I have a question. Why is it that if I'm gailed by Venomancer as a jug, and then I spin... Oh, look out. Oh, I see. BKB, Miracle. Trying to live here. Think about going for more. Eps forward. He's still not BKB, but he, he's basically 1v5ing and keeping them at bay. Rest have to run because all the rest of Nygma have shown up. Kiritich, don't spin. Spinning is not safe. Spinning is not safe. Get out of there. Wait, okay. Maybe he can Omni if he wants to. Not okay. opting for it yet. So for the full encounter of what happens, if you are if you gale a jug and then he spins, he will be fine. Because him going debuff immune from the spin activates it, but he's debuff immune and he doesn't get stuck. Makes sense. Okay. Right? But if he's yes. mid-spin and you gale him, that's when he's screwed. Gets down, Kiritich shows up, GH is there, tries to bring him down, and oh, he's barely living! On the other side, though, a lot of damage coming out from Notice to the control is there. FNG in trouble trying to get out. Miracle, right in front of Jung, right next to him, and starting to die. Where's the Omni Flash, bro? He gets it off at the last second. Oh my god, he barely survived from that one. Now trying to spin to run away. Healing Ward way too far to really be affecting him. Now, FBZ, can he catch up in time? Doesn't quite look like it. Squad X back here and ready to go in again if they want to. A little bit too much HP on that Primal to go for the all Exactly. Oh, You've got a Manta early to then create another Dispel to end it early. But then if you manage to close the end of your blade tree, you still get stunned anyway. Why do they keep fighting? I'm kind of testing here. <laughs> Can they see talk? It is. I mean, so this is the thing. There's a lot of weird interactions there. And then, we'll, no, you're hard to spell. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Okay. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah. You can. If you get Gale, you just need to Manta. So he's going through. Oh, no. He's dead. FNG is gone. So again, all of the all of the interactions with Kuro aside, because oh, we have a game happening, Is right? Tell me. Well, but I think it's important, right? Because it sort of tells us how even if he gets Omni Slash off, I'm not sure if that salvages the fight anymore. I, I think that they're in too desperate of a situation, and now they got Roche's banner down. Oh snap! And they do. And they got forward. Does he die for it? Gale? Gale? He didn't Manta! He didn't Manta! Get out of there! He Manta's late! He's dead! No! That's why he didn't know! You gotta know! You gotta know the interactions! Oh, man. If only he manta This is why we do the research. This is why we do the, the detective work, everybody. And now Sumail goes for the toss back. The connection is there. FNG is gone. The male gotta hide. Oh, but the solar crest keeps them alive and they run out. They get away. Does he just get eggs too? Leave me a full set for Glyph attack. one time before. Oh, the big wraparound. The big wraparound. They're moving. They're moving. Attack. Moving and grooving. Are they gonna find the smoke breaks on one already? Miracle. Action down, they see him, he blinks away. Now Squad X goes to the back line, finds the Grim. That is the perfect hero, but he gets the Grim off, tries to back away. Jug's dead, Jug's dead. Wait, no, Jug's healing, Jug's healing, Jug's living. Jug gets the Omni Slash off. He's able to survive through the first salvo. Can they keep him alive again? Kiritich does not feel safe in these fights at all. What happened? Squad X was going all in on the other side of that engagement. Wait, he they lost didn't... the fight to the two supports? Yeah, he, he couldn't kill the Grim. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh man, Nygma, they've blown it, blown it wide open now. 
Radiance Mist. He went all in on them. And yeah. he chased them and he died? Yep. He probably just like got stunned out of a dispel and then just not work. The greens came out. It was, a, it was a rough one, man. And now look at him. Now that these buildings will go. They have another glyph on Radiant, but with no DK for 30 seconds. I mean, this is the problem. But guys, if it came daytime, how can they lose the fight? They know what's happening. They had global vision. He now has Ags coming out for him now, too. My god. What a huge turn of face has come out as Nigma looks set to take the series 2-1, barring some type of insight. Uh, uh, the little bitty animation or like initiations that you can make with the axe is pretty important. Another toss back comes out. Codex tries to escape. They are gonna pop Solar Guardian. Z will get stunned, but they're just gonna have to use it to run away and get out of there. Yeah, it feels like they weren't. I thought they were trying to bait an actual play there with Spawnix, but in reality, like Jug's not here. I almost felt like they were hoping that they just wouldn't try and contest him sitting there. Radiant's middle yeah, there's a lot of damage with your four. Bang, 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 and they go. Trying to close this one out. The tree volley connecting on to that Dawnbreaker as Nigma sent their case to the jury, say, Your Honor, they cannot deal with us. The damage is too much. They're going in for the Ancient. The sun is there. But so is everybody from Burnus Pro. Kiritic, last of the core surviving. Oh, oh. Four staff to get him out, not gonna happen. Miracle survives through it all. GG is called. Off the back of an impressive performance, Nigma come away with the victory. Really well done, honestly. Like, 